As promised, we're joined right now by the head basketball coach at Indiana, second year at IU. He led the Hoosiers to the NCAA tournament last year. Previously the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks and the New York Knicks, he was an All-American player at IU back in the day. He went number 12 overall to the Knicks in 1980 before going on to play 11 years in the NBA. Indiana is currently ranked number 19. They open up playing the Big Ten tourney Friday in Chicago. They are the three seed. Mike Woodson is my guest. Mike, it has been a minute. It's great to talk to you. How you doing, Mike? It's been a while. How you doing? Good. Good, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing just fine. Can't good, complain. Good. Good to hear it. All right, so you guys were able to grind out a tough come-from-behind win against Michigan on Senior Day. Why don't we start right there? I mean, I know you want to win them all, but how badly did you want that one for the seniors, especially so they could celebrate that ceremony on a positive note? No, I couldn't be more proud for our seniors because they, you know, the last two years being here, boy, they have given me everything that they got um, you know, last year we didn't fare well on senior night. And, you know, to bounce back this year and get it done on senior night, they had a lot to do with it. I didn't play, but it was really nice to see, man, because our fans were there in grand style supporting us. And, boy, we had to make a a major run coming down the stretch to, to grind a game out. You know, Michigan played extremely well, and we were fortunate enough to win the game. Mike Woodson joining us. You did, Mike. You came back from double digits down. Your defense got it done once again. And when you talk about seniors, one of the guys honored, of course, was Trace Jackson Davis. He dominated once again. He has all season long. He went 27-9-6. and six. IU, Mike, has not had a consensus All-American since Victor Oladipo a decade ago. Has Trace played well enough this year to be recognized as such, do you think? Without a doubt, I think he's put himself in that light, uh, Jim. I mean, he's he's done everything we've asked him to do on and off the court. Um, and on the court, he's just been amazing this season. I thought last year he had a good year, uh, but this year he's really taken it to another level, meaning that he's, you know, he's rebounding, he's blocking shots, he's take, you know, he's getting the ball out of double teams. And, and picking up more assists. And he's scoring the ball. I mean, he's doing everything that a basketball player should do. And it's we've benefited from it, I mean, tremendously this season because without him, we'd be lost. I mean, we we kind of ride his coattail and everybody kind of pitches in and do their part. But he's been tremendous this season for our ball club. Indiana head coach Mike Woodson joining us. Mike, what about Race Thompson? He reportedly was telling guys in the huddle, we can't lose this game. We're not going to lose this game. How mentally and physically tough is this guy? And then as a coach, Mike, how much confidence does it give you when he's on the floor? Well, he gives us a lot of confidence. I mean, I thought last season, you know, you could make a play that he, he and Trace were probably the MVPs of our team. I mean, he... He did everything for our ball club last season. And this season, started out well, got hurt. Uh, they kind of set him back, and he's now starting to shape up again. And I mean, coming down the stretch, forget the free throws. I mean, you got to make free throws, but he didn't make them. But he made two big defensive stops for that really put us in a position to win the game the other night. Talking to Mike Woodson, Mike, the depth in the Big Ten is mind-blowing. Like, you've got 11 teams between 9 and 12 conference wins. Last year, the Big Ten got nine teams in the field of 68. Do you think the conference might even add another, and is 10 a possibility this year? Well, you think about it, you know I mean? UCLA and USC, they're going to come into this conference. This conference is loaded. It's, it's ridiculous. And... You know, I mean, to go through a season like we did this year, you know, with our point guard not being around, Xavier Johnson, pretty much the whole season, and and have to go on the road in the Big Ten and deal with these teams, man, it's tough. I mean, because every team in the Big Ten, if you're not ready to play, can beat you. And, you know, we had our ups and downs, um, you know, early in the Big Ten season. But coming down the stretch, I think we won – 11 out of our last 15 games of, of the Big Ten season. So uh, I'm pleased, you know, where we are as a ball club, but we still got a lot of basketball left. 
I'll tell you what, Mike, it seems to me on the outside looking in the conference, I mean, there, there are no off nights anyway. And then you got UCLA and USC coming in. That is going to be something crazy. Mike Woodson, my guest. I mean, Mike, you, you know this conference as well as anybody. You were an All-American when you played, and now you're a coach at IU. And then on top of that, you know how fierce the intrastate rivalries are. And then you take a basketball wild state like Indiana, and it's even more intense. This is a long way of me asking you, what's it mean to you and your team to sweep that seasonal series from Purdue this year, and especially when getting a win over them when they were ranked number one in the country? No, it means a lot. I mean, date back to last season, you know, we hadn't beaten Purdue in some time. And, you know, we, we beat them last season here at home, which kind of set the stage coming into this season. And, you know, they they played phenomenal basketball this season so far. I mean, with the big guy, Edie, I mean, it's a tough match for any team. And, you know, we just seem to play them well. I mean, the games are close. Um game we had here at home was very close and we were able to squeak it out at the end and then hell, I've never won in Purdue as a player when I played here at Indiana I never won there in four years and you know to be able to go in there and coach a team to beat them on their floor because they've always been competitive and had wonderful talent uh, it was amazing for our ball club to go in there and do that so I'm, I'm pleased with that team and where we are and, and and the style of play and how we played this season, man, it's been tremendous for us. You bet. A few more minutes with Mike Woodson. Mike, I've been really curious to see of late. Bob Knight has been coming around. Now, of course, you played for Bob Knight, and things did not end well between the coach and the school. He said at one point, I will never have anything to do with IU basketball ever again. And then things get better over time. He recently started to attend your practices. How did that come to be, and then what does his presence there mean to you? Well, he has been coming to practice. He comes once a week. Uh, it means a great deal to me, man, that he's he's back here. I mean, make no mistake about it, Indiana basketball is Bob Knight. You know what I mean? What he's done and did here, uh, it, it's going to be hard to ever replace, man, because the guys, I don't know how many Big Ten titles, 15-plus probably, and you know, three national titles. I mean, it's tough shoes to fill, man. But the fact that he's around the program again where he belongs means a great deal to me, our players, our ex-players that have played here, man. They've all starting to filter back. So it's just it's like old times again, man, and I'm I'm excited about that. Mike Woodson, my guest. Mike, one last thought. you got the Big Ten tournament coming up this week. This is one of the weirdest, strangest stats ever. But IU has lost their opening game 14 times since the tournament began. Like, make that make sense. Some joke that it's just a Bob Knight curse because Bob wanted nothing to do with that tournament when it came down. Is there anything to that, and do you believe in curses? No, because last year we had to play our way into the NCAA turn- tournament. There you and we go. Won the first, we won the first two games to get in and was a – a, a, a shot away from playing for the Big Ten Tournament Championship last season. So, you know, it, it, listen, make no mistake about it, It's you got to be playing and clicking on all cylinders because, like you mentioned earlier, anybody can beat you in the Big Ten. And, uh, you know, we, we, we have the double bye, so, you know, we got to sit and wait and see what Nebraska and Minnesota does, and then they play the winner of that. That team, uh, that those two teams play. Uh, uh, who am I thinking? They play Maryland. Yeah, the winner between Nebraska and Minnesota plays Maryland, and then we play the winner of that group. So we'll sit back and watch and prepare these next two or three days before we take off to go to uh, Chicago and, and get ready to play. I was about to say, you got yourself a double bye, and you are the three seed, and you're going to play in Chicago on Friday night. IU is ranked 19th, and Mike Woodson has seen and done it all, and the team is playing well right now. Mike, it's great to get caught up. Like I said, you and I would talk when you coach the Hawks. You and I would talk when you coach the Knicks. I know. It, it is good, man. <laughs> really good to have you back. Mike, I appreciate you. And you're still doing your thing, man, which is kind of nice. It's nice to see, man. Keep, 
Keep it going. You too. You too, Mike. Great to see you. Great to talk to you. You keep doing your thing too. Mike Woodson joining us. And again, I without saying it, I'll say it. It's what I love about this job. I love those relationships. Great getting caught up with somebody like that. Mike Woodson.